Hi, I'm Scott Wagner. I used to flip burgers just up the road from here 20 years ago. I walked past the shop for two weeks before I decided to buy it. I thought if I was going to buy a job, I might as well buy one with an ocean view. You may be wondering where I'm going with this. But basically I work on a very simple philosophy. Don't give someone a chicken burger when they order a veggie burger and always ask if they want sauce on that. It comes from the same space in the universe where the word extraordinary comes from. That's ordinary with that little bit extra. I now know you don't flip burgers for money. You do it for the social interaction and the compliments. If you do something really well, you get lots of compliments. I bought the business so I could go surfing because I love the beach, I love burly heads. Little did I know, all those compliments would turn into a massive business. Owning a small business on the Gold Coast, you rely on the population swelling at various times of the year, but it's the locals who pay the bills. I think the reason we became so big is because of the little things we did. If a kid dropped his ice cream, we'd always give him a new one. Every burger and hot dog arrived in a brown paper bag, hand stamped with burgers, dogs and caffeine on it. When I used to own my hamburger shop, there was about 230,000 people living on the Gold Coast. Now there's nearly 600,000 people living here. Burley Heads was a mecca for the retirees from down south. It was the end of the rainbow for them in winter. Now they can't even get a park for their wheelchair. In saying that, a lot hasn't changed. I used to ride my push bike up to the point at least five times a day to check the surf out, and that still happens. Big shells get washed up there in the king tides and stuck in the rocks. If you want to find them, you've got to get there first. Go to any chamferboard house at Burley Heads that's been in any family for generations and you'll see a collection of local shells. People love a headland and Burley's just that. There's a cave right up the top of the headland. It's got one of the best vantage points on the whole Gold Coast, but it's not for sale. When I used to own that burger shop called the Burley Beach Hut, I used to do a survey. Every time I saw someone with that air of comfort, that aura of success, and I'm not talking about wealth, I'm talking about true success. I used to ask them, why have you got that big smile on your face? How can you carry yourself with such confidence? Everyone with that big smile on their face always said, tell the truth and be yourself. 